question on everyone's mind is this actually road tripping does victor Wembanyama deserve defensive player of the year um i have no idea what this is what's going to come out of this this was sent to me uh, i had no idea that road tripping uh did another segment on Wimby. so we're we're gonna we're gonna watch it i want some rest <laughs> All right, so let's dive straight into this and see what uh, these fine analysts have to say about our boy Victor Wembanyama. Uh, this was just uploaded not that long ago. It looks like 14 hours ago, the, the uh, recording of this video. Um, before we get into this, if you guys want to support the channel, clanthemerchfan.com, link in the description. Get yourself some merch, man. Um, you're, you are going to be waiting. All right, I have I have a, a little line now. Um, so we're, we're going to, uh, we're going to get them done, but if you guys want to support nonetheless, and you're going to be patient with me, please, uh, head your, head yourself over to clan, the merch link in my description and get yourself some merch. All right, let's, let's, uh, sorry, something's acting up on the, on the keyboard. All right. So let's go ahead and take a look at this video. Um, so I can go ahead and answer this question for you. Does Victor Wambayama deserve defensive player of the year? Yes. And it's very frustrating because I don't really know what he could do better uh, to get it, right? It, it, at that point, it's just kind of like, hey, if you're on a really bad team, tough luck, right? Um, I kind of understand the unwritten rule with the MVP award. You know, it's the idea is that you're overall so, so valuable to your team that they're going to be decent, at least be in the playoff picture. Like the usually yeah i, I kind of understand that. i can conceptualize that like i wouldn't even i wouldn't try to argue for victor being mvp of the se season even with some of the crazy defensive numbers he's gotten and just overall good numbers he's gotten i wouldn't even try to make that uh argument uh that that should be reserved for guys like sga Jokic, um uh, uh luka Doncic, guys like that uh but defensive player of the year it's just one of those where it's like uh, I don't know, man. I don't know. Your defensive presence alone should cause the entire team to be better defensively. That's just usually, it just seems like that's not really how it pans out. You have to have a really good scheme, really talented player supporting cast around you for that to happen. And MVP, some players are so good that they could push their team into the playoffs. Lord knows Kobe did that in 20, oh gosh. Oh gosh, 2013? I think pretty sure it was 2013 Kobe definitely did that then he got hurt but um sorry I'm rambling what do they have to say let's put captions on do we speed it up a little bit yeah we did let's go good lord I was testing you um okay defensive player of the year D Victor Wembyama <sighs> fuck no okay I'm gonna give what RJ RJ usually has good takes what were why what like why? Why so? Why mo so malicious with your answer? Give you numbers, Channing. I'm gonna give you numbers to back it up. What is your bubble doing? Thumbs up or thumbs down? I can't see it. It was going down. All right. When he is on the floor, San Antonio has the sixth best defensive efficiency rating. When he's off, they rank dead last. Rudy Gobert, 33.3 minutes per game, 12.8 rebounds, 2.1 blocks, 0.6 steals. Victor, 28.8 minutes per game, 10.3 rebounds, 3.4 blocks, 1.3 steals. I'm not giving Defensive Player of the Year because he gets a lot of blocks to the fucking worst team in the league. He gets... They're 24. They're, it's not his fault. It's not, not his fault. Stop, stop, stop. Yeah, because at that point, it's like, what do you do, you know? This Defensive Player of the Year, like, what do you do? And that's a really good the defensive efficiency. I did, I did not know that, that we bump all the way up to six. I actually was not aware of that. Uh, I'm definitely using that as a talking point. Think that the best oh, we got the same mic, by the way. Me and Channing, Channing uh, Fry. Player on the team, it ain't always his fault. I'm not saying that they're a good team, but why are we going to give him a war? We give him Rookie of the Year and Defensive Player of the Year when, again, Chad Holmgren, Chad Holmgren's on the number one fucking seed. Minnesota has Rudy Gobert. They're the number two seed. And it's like, well, look at his number. Who do you play with Jaden McDaniels? Who do you play with Jaden McDaniels? Come on, bro. No. Rudy Gobert is playing with two and a half All-Stars. I Rudy Gobert fine. is a certified All-Star. Hang on, Channing, no. Channing. Just yeah, it's, it's just like, what's the what's the point if you can't give, it, give him an individual award? Like I said, I understand MVP. Defense Player of Year is just one of those that's a little weird to me. I, I don't I don't know. It just, ah. Numbers, bro. Just a little bit away so we can no, no, no. I'm, not Channing, I'm not disputing that the kid is great but let's fucking reward winning and if your franchise is dog shit if your franchise is dog shit then leave in three years and go to a place but let's not reward i'm gonna let him i'm gonna let him finish let's not reward the last place team with rookie of the year 
Okay, that's fine. That you can give that. I'm saying you can give that. I'm saying my argument is Chet averaging 18 a game, and no one has ever hit 153s, 100 and something blocks, and done the things that he's done on the number one seed. And it's like, well, look at Wimby's numbers. And it's like, come on, Channing. Defensive player of the year, I get the on and off. I get the on and off. I'm not saying that the dude is not fucking great, all defense. But the defensive player of the year is going to potentially go to a team that's in last place, and we're going to say it's not his fault. Half of I don't understand. He just said defensive player of the year. He didn't say defensive player on the year on the best defensive team. He didn't say defensive team of the year he said defensive player and when you say like i want to award winning you award winning by they're in the playoffs like this is an individual award i i don't know like do we do that with other things too like yes award winning with the most improved player yes award winning with rookie of the year yes like it's just it's just silly right i i think it's a little silly me personally i i don't i don't quite understand this also if we keep that same thing in mind and yes just award winning then I guess I guess would he say Tatum is MVP? Is is Tatum MVP? I mean, hold on. Let, let's see. Let's see. This is NBA standings right now. What are the NBA standings right now? All right. So the Celtics are number one in the East, and yeah, they by far have the best record in the entire NBA. So should we just award winning? by giving it to Jason Tatum. Even it, like even though Jason Tatum definitely doesn't deserve it over guys like Jokic who's third in the West or uh uh Luka who's eighth in the West. Like do we just give it to Tatum? It's just award winning. I don't know, that's kind of silly. Awarded winning is uh getting a championship. All right, you get awarded with a championship. Uh that's how you get award winning. I don't know, it's just kind of silly. That's a that's a silly that's a silly thing. Also, another thing that gets award winning, which makes sense, I think, is like coach of the year, right? Like, I wouldn't argue that Popovich deserves coach of the year this year. I mean, I think he's a phenomenal coach. I think he's one of the best coaches in the NBA, if not the best coach in the NBA. But yeah, in that instance, yes, you will. Yes, he's a coach, right? We're giving him coach of the year. It should be a coach that's winning a lot. I mean, it's a team. He's coaching a team. I don't know. It's just, that's just kind of silly. Yes, that's they're not last they're 24 half of his blocks they're not half last. of his blocks come because they're so shitty on fucking defense and they don't guard anybody so he actually gets rewarded because he's guarding against non because he's that's not what happens what blocking shots because of terrible defense i've been on shitty teams i don't get three blocks a game what the, like, that doesn't make sense what are you talking about he's he's getting the blocks because other people aren't playing defense what are you talking about was was Jakob Pertl getting these these types of numbers? What is RJ talking about, dude? He's like way off on this. You know what, RJ? I love RJ by the way. I love most of his takes, but RJ is the same dude that said if the San Antonio Spurs started Trey Jones, he said this early in the year. If the Spurs start Trey Jones, they win games, and that I have yet to see that. Not make sense. So you're, a, you're, you're punishing, punishing him. Not punishing. It's not punishing. You are punishing you're him. Rewarding you're the, punishing you're him. Reward, punishment no, you're... and rewarding are two different things. You're rewarding a good player. He's by far better, though. You are punishing him at that point. It's like it's like there's no way. Like it, it's it's at this point. I think what frustrates me the most about these individual awards is I want it to be in the player's control. Okay, at some degree. Like I said, I kind of understand MVP. Um, cause you're going to, you, you're just going to, your team is probably going to be a winner, uh, or at least, you know, barely in the playoffs or something. You're, you're going to be a playoff team in some way. Like you're that good. It's just, it just happens all the time, but like defensive player of the year, this very specific award. I think that that's kind of insane where it's not in his hands at all. Like it's not in his control at all. Wimby. So not only does Wimby, uh, to get defensive player of the year, not only does he have to be the best defender, uh, in the NBA, but he also has to, his rookie year, he also has to uh, magically turn this team into a playoff squad for pe people to even consider him getting that award. At that point, it's like, yeah, you are. You are punishing him at this point. Yeah, actually. Yeah, you're rewarding another guy that might not deserve it over Wimby. You're rewarding a good team. So okay, so okay, say this next it's year. Crazy. Is this a team award or is this a fucking individual award? Nobody has a bigger impact defensively than RJ. RJ should say it again. He should say 
He say it's the defensive player of the year. Give it to the team. Player. Really? Why? Because why? his why? team sucks. Why does he have? Why because his team have sucks. That? Because he is good at defense. He's the best defensive player in the NBA. Rudy Gobert. Why? Why? He has no rebuttal to this. There is playing with Carl Anthony oh, Towns, yeah, no. who's seven he foot. Sucks. Jaden McDaniels, who is a certified first team on defense. Anthony Edwards, the next face of the league. Come on. He is also uh, playing with other great players. Oh, His job is simple. Right. Stand there, be huge, don't fuck it up. When you're playing on a shit team say, and you're 20 years old, okay, no, no, let me finish, let okay. me finish, let me finish. When you're playing on the Spurs and you have to make up playing defense like that, hey, here's our coverage. Oh, you fucked it up? Now I got to play my guy and your guy. That's it's even more harder. impressive. His impact. On a better defensive team, he should have even more blocks is obviously seen on They're a shitty fucking team. Because because other teams are going to really have to force shots. Team win. They're last the fucking best. place in the Western Conference. Yeah, let's, They're let's not. No, no, no. Yeah. They're not last. There are two teams that have nine nine wins. They're last Name in up. the Western Conference. <laughs> that We're talking We're talking overall the league. Yeah, it is the, it is the league. It is the league. It's not just a West Award. Richard, no, I'm, not, I'm not saying that you can have an impact. I don't, he can't I, play 48 minutes. I'm kidding, kidding. He can't play 48 I'm minutes. Not that That's not, true. Not nice. I'm not saying he's not fucking good. Guys. But when in fucking history have we hey. ever given the defensive player of the year to somebody that finished on the 15th on the team that's ranked 15? Never in history. Never in history. Never in NBA sure. history, Channing. Some things can change. This dude is so good till I think he, yeah, you can kind of like do that. <laughs> like, like he's so good. So you could do that. Now, I, I would argue, obviously, with MVP, I feel a little different about that because that's just such an overall, like, value to a team in which, like, I don't know. It, it, to me, it feels like it is an individual award, but at the same time, winning has to come into a play a little bit, right? But defensive player of the year, I don't know. I mean, I wonder, do we do this with hustle? Maybe we do it with the, like, most hustles. What is what is that award called? Oh, what is that award called when, like, the most hustle? Because I, I, I know... um. I know Thaddeus Young had it. He had won it um, before coming to San Antonio. What is it called? Hustler of the Year? I forget. I don't know if we do it with that. Do we do it with that? Come on, brother. I'm, I'm sure. just... You'll look back and be like, yep, we made a mistake. Fucking looking back. Remember, on, when, like... remember when the MVP, for the finals MVP, was almost given to a, a player that didn't win the championship? Yeah, that happened before. You talking about LeBron averaging a triple-double? Mm -hmm. He didn't win. Yeah, that was different. He should have got it. You can't be you, you're the numbers. This is the thing. It's weird because it's like you're like, well, he's not playing with good players. So we're penalizing him for being for being on a shitty team. That's fair. I hear what you're saying in that. But the other part about this is that awards should go to impacting winning. It should go to impacting winning, not just numbers. Right. Like that. That's my only thing. If, if a guy is going out there and giving up 30 offensive get, or getting 30 rebounds a night, but he never contests a shot. So if I don't contest a shot and I just go and chase, well, he led the league in rebounding. Yes, but his team was dog shit because he wasn't doing the things. I'm not penalizing Victor. I think Victor is going to win five defensive players. It, it still just kind of feels like there's nothing he could possibly do. I mean, what could Victor defense? I mean, I've been watching these games. What could, how much better could Victor be? that would cause the Spurs to win game. Like I, at this point, it's just like, there's nothing he can do. I understand what he's saying. He's like, yeah, it should impact winning, but I don't think there's anything Victor could do. Like he's the best in the league and it's still not doing it. It's, it's still not impacting winning. Like, I don't know. Does he, I've been seeing him getting five, six, 10 blocks in a game. Does, does he need, does he need 20? I, I don't, I don't know. That's crazy to me. Of the years he's gonna do all this shit. I'm not I'm not penalizing, but to say that you are the last place team and then say that he is the best defensive player in the league, we are not what more can he do? What more can so, he so do? But he's not impacting his turn. Wait, why are we impacting Rudy has to do less? Rudy has Yeah, that's true. That's true. Like what that's my thing. What else can you do? Oh my gosh, we we're we're in sync right now. Has to do less. He has to stand oh, there. Don't, don't, he's he's won multiple defensive player. Okay, that's Rich that's also fair. has. Rich also that's has. Chet. He does have to play. He has to do less. Yeah, and even Wimby. A lot of times we have him having to guard like guards all the time, man. I mean, it's not often, often, but it happens. That was Jaden McDaniel. I, I, I come. I come from. Yes, and he won defensive player of the year when he had Mike Conley and Donovan Mitchell, who don't fucking guard anybody. This. Is my, well, Mike Conley is a great defender. Not a great by the way. defender. Slow down. He was Mike Conley. 
was a good defender. I mean, I won't say great, like he wasn't like locked down, but yeah, Mike Conley's a good defender. Yeah, much much better than uh, Trey Jones. My, and, and we'll stop it on this because I, I yeah, this, we, stop we're gonna stop. he's this much one, better defender than Malachi. This is what I'm gonna say. I want to reward winning. I believe that if you give that rookie of the year is different because you can't control where you go. I like Chat. What is he afraid of? I guess he's afraid that we'll get to a point where like I don't know. Is, is this like a slippery slope argument? I don't think that we'll get to that point. He's on where good any, teams. Where anybody just gets an award. I don't know. Like Wimby is so far ahead of everyone else right now. Till I, I don't I think most people would say, okay, yeah, this is this is an anomaly right here, right? He's an alien. Like I don't think that this is gonna lead to the next guy that averages two blocks or three blocks a game to get it. I, I don't think that would be the case. He has to so because you're also penalizing Rudy by saying he doesn't have to do anything because he's on a good team. So you're penalizing Rudy for being on a good team, but you don't. But you want to give you want to give cre credit to him to 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 Victor because he's on a bad team, right? My only thing is this: if you start no no no, you're not giving credit to Victor because he's on a like he made that as an argument because you said that it's about winning. You don't have to make that argument at all that he's on a bad team. You don't have to use that. To, to prop up Victor Wembanyama at all. You only use that to defend people that say that he does not deserve it. You could easily just look at the numbers that Victor Wembanyama is putting up and say without anything else that he deserves it alone. I mean, she brought up, she brought up plenty of stuff already. Like you could just look at the numbers alone and say he deserves it. I don't think you have to make the argument to prop him up you don't you, you're only using that to defend people that say he does not deserve it because he's not on a winning team giving out awards to the last place thing go it should impact winning if you are, are really the best defensive player in the fucking world your team should not be last place <sighs> nuance rj i feel like he knows better than this nuance that's my only argument. And if that's on the ordinance... It's not, it's not just one and one like that. If you're if you're truly the best defensive player... So, so we really going to say, like, with a straight face, that the best defender on the best team in the NBA or the better teams in the NBA are better defenders than Wimby? Are we, like, really going to make that argument? Because I don't think he believes that. ...in the Spurs? Record-wise, what are they defensively, Allie? What are the Spurs they're, defensively? They're dead last when uh, in defensive efficiency when Victor is not on the floor, and they are sixth. When he's not on the floor, what are they when he is? Fucking team. It's, I, sixth? They're top ten when he's. I'm when done. are you done? You know what? It's been a great episode. Thank you. Yeah, like what? What is he really gonna? He should just admit he was wrong here. Thank you. I just it just proves my point. He can't play all game. They're sixth, oh, Richard. Okay. They're defensively, last place, when he bro. played, they're in last place. But that's fine. As a team record, they're then fire the GM. Fire the, the coach. What are you talking about? <laughs> what are you talking about? What are you talking? So they're dead last, and then they're sixth. Oh wow. So what? What is what? What is their defensive rank as a fucking team? Because he does play thirty minutes a night, so he is playing the majority of the game. What are they? The majority of the game, he's playing. What is it? So we're gonna take the. Uh, like, what are, what are they? they? When Victor's on the floor? No, 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 no. I'm not talking about on the floor. I'm talking about over the course of the game as a, as team. a team. I'll have to look it up for you. That's what, that's what I'm saying. So it doesn't matter for when he's on. I'm so confused. So so Wimby needs to play defense on the bench? I'm, I'm a little lost here. I'm a little confused. He he has to, I mean, he has to do so much. Like, okay, now now he has to play defense when he's on the on the bench. Oh, the they way, could be Richard, awful scoring though, Richard. That's what the record If you're just says. going off of the fact that it's simply them being... Now, last place they're 24 they're 24th as a team okay so having said that though like part okay. of the MVP discussion guys will get slighted because of who they play with like jason tatum like jason tatum that was a part of the conversation or i mean nikola Jokic. like it's been but a it, part of Giannis. it's been a part of the conversation if this if wimby wasn't so, if Wimby wasn't Wimby, I don't think we would be having this conversation. If Wimby wasn't this unicorn, and we're talking about offensively, you're talking about this great no, like defensively, he's the best in the okay, like thing that we that we really truly have never seen. If mm -hmm. he was if he was a, a a normal player putting up the defensive numbers, rebounding block, putting up the defensive numbers, we would not give it to him. We would not give it to him if he was a, a just a defensive player. If he was Ben Wallace, and he was putting up these numbers. Wimby, but 
So he's is he saying that if we had a whole nother player that wasn't this good offensively, but was this good defensively, we wouldn't be talking about it. Wimby is one of a kind defensively. Like that that's that's the special part about all of it. Like teams actively have to uh, adjust the way they play just because Wimby's in the in the paint. Like we've you can see with your own eyes how teams play when Wimby's on the court versus when Wimby comes off the court. They have a field day. They're, they're hitting the rim every single chance that they get. When Wimby's on the court, there's a lot of extra passes that's had. Um, and if you don't make those extra passes, you, you, Wimby's going to get 10 blocks on you. So, like, I, I don't know what he's – I don't know where he's, where he's going at. What is he babbling about? On a terrible team, we would not give it to him. That's why it's never if, if it was another if it was another player that was possible like could could do what Wimby's doing defensively as a 20 year old rookie, I think people would kind of talk about that. Yeah. Ever been done in history. If we want to drink the Wimby Kool-Aid and say he's a future face and start throwing the stuff at him, he's gonna meet up with it. He's gonna get it. Agree. Right? I personally thought Carmelo Anthony should have won rookie of the year over LeBron because Carmelo led a team to the postseason, right? They let and he was the rookie and was led led them average 20 points a game and was the best player on a at team. At least he's consistent. At least he's consistent. I went to the postseason as a rookie. That's fucking hard to do. That's my only. LeBron thing. still won it. Yeah, LeBron won it, right? But again, Carmelo had Kenyon Martin, Nene. He had a bunch of guys on his team, but he showed up. Was the best player. Showed up every night, averaged twenty points a game, and went to the postseason. That's why, like, if I had a vote, I would have voted for Carmelo Anthony as rookie of the year over LeBron. That's not LeBron's fault that he had a bunch of shitty teammates. Like Bron, Bron. Which is what, but that's what Channing's saying with Victor. It's not Victor. See, at that point, it's just like, gosh, like you, you have no control over it. That's what I don't like. I feel like the players should have control over what awards that they get. At this point, we're talking about just who you land on, what team you land with. And I don't I don't think that should be the deciding factor. I think if we're talking about very like individual awards, like rookie of the year, um, defensive player of the year, MVP is one of those special ones for me personally. But I mean, I, th I feel like those are ones where it's like, okay, well... This isn't fair. It's just where you land. Like, what's the point then? There's fault. But it, and, it, and it ain't Chet's fault. But Chet now has, if Chet okay, makes so two turns. talking about defensive, defensive but, player, but Richard. My... It's not Chet's fault. I don't, I don't know what you're talking about. I mean, people were talking about Chet being rookie of the year for the longest until Wimby just blew him out of the water. Like, I don't know. But, defensive but, player. Defensive okay. player of the year. If we're just going to make, if we're not going to make it, when we say it's a team award if we just want to make it just purely stats and guys can go out there and block shots and get all rebounds and their team can finish 24th and it's like but when i'm on the court we're six when i'm off the court we're last but overall as a team we're 24th and we're in dead last yeah what does that have to do with defensive player oh this is frustrating dead last in our conference and that's the person we're going to give the best defensive player of the year award richard they are awful at scoring that's how you win the game you have more points than other teams this is a defensive award. What is his impact on the defensive end? Show me a player that has a bigger defensive impact, and then I'll be quiet. Show me a player that has a bigger defensive impact well, I don't, than Wemby. I, I don't I'll know where Rudy ranks for his defensive efficiency. I don't know where. It's not that much. I don't, I don't, I don't, I'm so saying. I, I'm telling you, I don't know. I, look, we, look. I I respect your opinion. Wait, My, you don't even like. He doesn't even know the other defensive efficiencies, and he's just blatantly saying Wemby doesn't deserve it because he's not winning games. Like that's crazy. Opinion is different. I just don't believe that we should give out a fucking award to the last place team because his numbers are great. That goes against everything that we have fought for our entire lives. Individual numbers should be purely based this is, off This of is some like moral high ground he has to stand on. Team, when we start dissecting, when he's on the court and when this, 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 blah, 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 that's there to make that's arguments silly. and I get it. I just think that every single thing, Lute Olsen, every single thing that you have been taught over the course of your basketball career to give an award to the last place thing because his numbers are good, I just feel like that goes against the culture of fucking winning. That's my opinion. I'm not like, I, I understand what you're saying. Like we're having a legit conversation because it is true. He is a fucking high level candidate. He, he will win multiple ones, but last place. And then we want to point to, but when he's on the court, if they're sixth, they're in last place. Well, that I, I, I just can't get on board with that. I, I just, then it's just like completely out of his control. I just don't think when we are looking at defensive player, right? You cannot penalize him for that individual. It is an individual award, right? You are penalizing him for his GM's decision to put a underdeveloped team out there. You don't win or lose. Well, uh, well, let's not blame the, okay. But yeah, I get him, let him cook. In today's game, because a guy is, one guy can't guard five, but his impact to give his team even a sort of chance 
is the greatest in the league. I said Rudy's got him. What do you mean? Does he? Defensive uh, rating. Yep. Yeah. Victor's at 107.3. Rudy's at 104. Okay. I'll be quiet. I digress. Well, no, you don't have to be quiet. I mean, that's just a matter that's still you talking about defensive rating. That's still a matter of the team that's around you. Like what? What you? What do you? Oh, my God. He's really going to back off of this point over that a defensive rating just because it, it's it's still about the team that's around you. OK, Digress. what's no, the defensive rating of the other guys on his team? No, but I hear you. No, but Shane, I'm not. I wasn't shitting on your point, bro. The fact that we're talking about the rookie winning that, I'm not, it's not, we can argue. I know I'm not. I, but this is why well, I want to be clear. I just think that he, he's, he's just winning. He's just kind of being a, a old head. I understand, though. I understand. Like I said, the only gripe that I ever had with uh, Richard Jefferson was when he tried to tell all the Spurs fans that, well, if if Trey Jones were to play, if he started, they would win games. And I was one that said, no. I'm watching these games. You're not going to just magically win games just because Trey Jones is playing. This is overall experience. That's the issue. Trey Jones is not going to uh, move the needle to the point where now the Spurs are a winning team. That's that's insane to me. Uh, let's see. RJ hates San Antonio because he he was so whack when he played there. Ah, that's not true. Um, I don't think he hates San Antonio. I can take. Uh, discussion about defense player year based on arguments. I can't take discussion of defense player year based on personal bias. Rudy is excellent defender, but this year Wimby showed next level of defense. Individual numbers should be purely based off a team. Dude, what? Exactly. Channing is right. Spurs defense is historically worse than Victor isn't on the floor and becomes top six this year when he's on the court. Uh, Wimby would make any defense, any team defensively better if you put him on the team. That kind of jump would be having the biggest impact on the team. Richard Jefferson is jealous of Wimby. He's not jealous of Wimby. Richard take on defense player year is short bus material. Dang. Uh, okay, a lot of people just disagree. Best defensive player of the year, Richard player of the year. Yep. Uh, this is exhausting. Wimby on the Wolves with the current stats would be would be win the award. But I don't know. Rudy on the Spurs would be win the award or would he win the award? It says B would he, he mean he, uh, why is defensive player of the year based on wins? That's not what the award is about. It's just, it's just crazy. Like, I feel like it's always been kind of a, um, uh, an argument for, you know, winning certain awards. Uh, it's not set in stone or anything like that. It, it is, it is frustrating though. Wait, I think I just saw somebody who follows the channel. Did we read their comment? I think this person follows the channel. I think this person is on this channel often. The NBA should rename the award to defensive team of the award or team of the defensive team of the year, not defensive player of the year. Yeah. Uh, RJ is still on Chet's boat for rookie of the year. What a clown. Wait. Oh, man. Oh, man. I was so charitable towards Richard Jefferson. He's been on that. He's been saying that. Maybe I missed it. I don't know. We've gone over so many bad takes that maybe I just forgot that we went over it. Oh, gosh. I shouldn't have been this nice. Anyways, I'll give it to you guys later, man. Until next time, uh, that's all I got to say. Bye.